Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. In case you're new here, if you are, you should go ahead and subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Speaking of videos, this is a video on the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. This is what it looks like. I am a little late to the train on making a video about this, but better late than never. Am I right? Or am I right? So I don't have my makeup finished today. I only have foundation on just in case there's fallout or anything, then I can clean it up easily. Uh, but we are going to be talking about this guy today. So I've used it quite a bit. Um, I've used a few shades. After today's look, I would have used exactly half of the shades in this palette. By the time I upload this video, though, I might have used more. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, if I do use any shadows in this palette after I film this video and they perform particularly terrible or... If I feel like something is needed, I will put it down below in a pinned comment. But we are going to talk about this palette today. We are also going to use it. First, I'm going to do a bit of an overview on the palette. Just tell you guys information about it. Then I'll put it on my eyes. And then afterwards, we will talk about my thoughts. This palette does have 20 shades at 0.0385 ounces or 1.1 grams per shadow which makes up 4.77 ounces or 22 grams of actual product. It does retail for $18 USD, which is 90 cents per eyeshadow and 81 cents per gram. The shadow does have a mix of mattes and shimmers and this shadow is kind of like a hybrid, kind of like a satin. When you look at it, it definitely looks like a matte, but when you swatch it or you shine the light on it, you can definitely see some sparkles in there. So there's that one. Other than that, the other ones are all either pure mattes or pure shimmers. Palette is vegan and cruelty free, which is always nice. And the back of the actual palette says, in case you're curious, stand out in the crowd this festival season with our weekend festival. 20 color shadow palette. The unique mix of bright and neutral hues in matte and shimmer finishes lets you create statement making eye effects for dancing all day and night. That's basically all I have to say about the actual palette. So let's go ahead and try it. In advance, I'm sorry about the background noise. I will try to edit it out in editing as much as possible, but uh, I'm so annoyed. It's so loud. I want to do a two-toned eye today, but I also kind of want them to work together. So I'm going to use this color on both eyes and then use this on one eye, that on one eye, and then use the corresponding color and shimmers with them. And then this guy to highlight. So we're using one, two, three, four, five, six different shades today. Something that I'd like to point out just right now looking at this is that there are no matte colors to kind of blend with the green or yellow. I wish that there were matte green or matte yellow just so you kind of had something to work with for these colors. Of course you can do, you can really work with any colors with them, but I think that it'd be really nice to have a matte green or yellow to kind of work with these guys. We're just going to go ahead and go in. I've already primed and everything. First I'm going to go in with Hippie, which is the orange, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. The shadow is definitely nice. What I've noticed with a lot of them is that they're not as pigmented when you put them on the eyes as they are in the palette. And they are always like a little different. They're not always the exact color in the actual palette that they are in your eyes, which isn't the biggest deal, but it is kind of frustrating when you go into a color and you're expecting that one and it's not, it's a really sheer version of it. But then again, it's like, what do you expect for the price, right? So next I'm going to go in with Dippy, which is just the pink and what i'm doing with the pink on one eye is what i'm going to do with the purple on the other I'm kind of doing what i did with the orange and i'm not going to bring it up as high because i do want you to be able to see the orange and i want it to be like a nice effect where it kind of blends where they kind of blend into each other and then on the lid we'll use the corresponding shade this pink is definitely very pigmented so i'm just going to go back in with the orange and kind of make sure that we don't lose it so there is very minimal fallout so far, which is nice. Now I'm going in with Swag. Didn't know that 
was still over that we used. Um, and I'm just going to do the same thing on this side, but I did with the pink on the other. This purple definitely isn't showing up too, too purple on this eye. It's showing up a little more brown. The more I add and the more it blends, the more it shows up. Again, just going in with the orange and kind of making sure we don't lose that vibrancy. Those two kind of blended together and kind of made a brown looking effect, which I mean, isn't too bad. Like I don't really mind it. Like what do you expect when you mix those two colors together? But now we're gonna go in with the shimmers. So I'm going to go in with Solstice and we're gonna put that on the pink eye and a lot of product gets picked up. This shadow in particular is a little more crumbly than the rest. So I'm expecting a bit of fallout. And I'm also not putting Fix Plus on my brush yet. I will definitely after if I need it, which I think I will because this isn't showing up too much. Kind of looks more like a tra like a transformation shade when I put it on the lid. Patting it definitely gives you a lot more shadow but it gives you a lot more fallout there is a lot of fallout from this so this is what it looks like without fix plus you definitely don't need fix plus but i'm definitely a fix plus type of gal but first we are going to go in with wicked and do the other eye that is just this guy we just used that one by the way so we're gonna go in with him and see if this one needs fix plus and then we'll see what the look looks like without fix plus and then if we need it we'll go in with it definitely gonna add fix plus they do look fine without it um this one definitely looks a lot more shimmery just because it does seem to be like a transformation type shade uh whereas this one doesn't so definitely want some fix plus up in this bitch so that's what it looks like with fix plus so that is what it looks like now i'm just gonna blend it out a little so this is the eye look so far there is quite a bit of fallout specifically over here with that pink shimmer shade and then there is some over here with the purple shimmer shade. So now I'm going to go and do the rest of my face and then come back, finish up the eye look, tell you my thoughts. Okay, so I did the rest of the face. Uh, now I'm just gonna go in with Hippie for the lower lash line. And kind of put it everywhere. And I'm gonna actually do that on both eyes. So this is where I'm at now. Now I'm going to go in with the pink and the purple on this eye and just go closer to the lash line and not bring it down as far as the orange. We're basically mimicking what we did up here. I am going back in with the orange just to make sure that we don't lose that color. So this is where we are right now with the eyes. The only thing we have left to do is highlight. Sorry it got darker. We are going to go in with spirit and highlight. Spirit? Oh my God, that is so loud. Spirit is an iridescent, pinky, purple color, so it will really complement both eyes. Spirit is probably one of my favorite shades in the whole palette. It is so bright and beautiful. That is so loud. This is the final eye look though. So I did move location so I can be right in front of the window so you guys can have better lighting. Um, this is the finished look. In general, I am very impressed with this palette. Is it necessarily the best quality that it could be? No, but is it good quality? Of course. I do think that this palette is worth the money though. It is only $18 USD, and it does have a lot of good shadows, especially if you're into colors, or if you really wanna start using colors, this would probably be a good palette to get because it does have those neutral shades but it also has those colors and it's not too expensive. All of the shadows that I've used thus far have blended really well and normally don't have too much fallout. The shimmers do have more fallout than the mattes, but what can you do? It's not the biggest deal for me, fallout literally doesn't matter. I just brush it away and move on with my day. As far as pigmentation, they are pretty pigmented, however, when you put them on the eyes, sometimes they aren't this exact color. Like the blue, for example, the blue was really sheer when I put it on, but you can build it up to the color that it is in the pan. 
and even like you saw with the orange I did have to build it up a little but again for the price of these shadows it's fine and I don't really mind building them up but if you were to use like an AB8 shadow or palette you wouldn't really have to do that so that is something about this palette that you may need to take into consideration but you also have to take into consideration the price and the quality of course if you're paying $20 for a palette versus paying $40 for a palette or $50 for a palette obviously the quality is going to be different I think that's a given but all in all I do really like this palette my favorite shades my favorite shades that I've used so far are this pink one which is electric i think that this shadow is so so beautiful it was really pigmented from the get-go and just blended like a dream and was so beautiful and then also spirit i love spirit you can use it with a lot of different shades specifically today it is a iridescent purpley pink so if you use it with purples it will pull more purple if you use it with pinks it'll pull more pink and it's just so stunning and i think those are my two favorite ones in the palette other than that i do like all the shades that I've used thus far. So just to point out the shadows that I have used, in case you're curious, not today, but just in general, I've used Trixie, Hippie, Swag, Dippy, Palooza, Neon, Spirit, Wicked, Solstice, and Electric. The other ones, which tend to be the more neutral ones, and then the two really shimmery blue ones I haven't used yet, but I am excited to use them eventually probably within the next few days and if there are any standout shadows or if any of them are really really bad or I feel the need to tell you something about them I will of course tell you in the comments I will do a pinned comment in case there's something that I need to tell you so all in all I do think that this palette is good it's not the most amazing quality but what can you expect when you're paying $20 for 20 eyeshadows I would definitely recommend this palette it is very fun for those of us who love colors or for those of you who really want to get into colors without really committing too much this is a great palette for that the shadows are good quality they do blend well they are just a little sheer though and you do have to build them up more than you would have to with like a Kat Von D shadow or an ABH shadow but that is expected considering you're only paying $20 all around would recommend it's a nice palette I do like it I will continue to use it and yeah I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video definitely leave a like and comment down below something i don't know have you tried this palette do you like it do you want to try it do you have any video requests anything just comment something and let's chat also remember to subscribe before you leave today and i will see you guys in my next video bye